The White House invited a group of border city mayors to President Biden's immigration announcement. The mayor of El Cajon, California, Bill Wells, joins me now. You were not invited, Sheriff, uh, to the White House. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> You know, I, I think my uh, invitation probably got lost in the mail because I can't imagine why he wouldn't want me there. Right. <laughs> you know, the truth is I've been, pre I've been pretty critical of the Biden administration. I mean, being on the border in California, it's hard not to be critical. We've got about 1,500 people a day crossing. We've had 150,000 cross since October, and that's pretty significant. You, you know, it, it, it's hard to kind of quantify what that r really looks like. But in a city of three million people, that's a, that's a lot of people. What do you think of the president's border actions? Uh, are they going to be effective? I mean, they've just announced yesterday. I found them complicated and very difficult to understand. How about you? Well, I think they're uh, intentionally complicated. You know, the truth is, I, I, I think obviously it's pretty hard not to see that this is an election ploy. And I, you know, I don't want to say that I, that I'm not welcoming of some uh, reform on this. You know, I certainly am, but without more border patrol agents and, and without releasing those border patrol agents to actually stop illegal immigration across the border, we're just uh, changing the venue. Um, the cartels run the show, and you know, I've been out to the border at night. You saw that video from Bill Malusian uh, of hundreds of people coming across uh, in the dead of night. That's way out in the middle of nowhere in the country. And our border patrols are told not to even try to stop them. So the cartels are just going to continue their billion dollar business. And instead of having them come over and present themselves for asylum, they're just going to sneak across every night. I don't think it's going to change a single thing. Now, now you're in San Diego County, and San Diego yeah. itself is once again a top entry point for migrants. More than 222,000 crossed the border since October the 1st. Those are official numbers. Why is San yes. Diego? an epicenter of migration? I think it's because California is such a woke state, and I think California has a sanctuary state policy where we're just not going to try to stop people at all. And, you know, in fact, like you mentioned that there's a, a new bill trying to give uh, state jobs to, to yeah. illegal aliens. Well, they already get free health care. Um, we have a bill that says that if you are an illegal alien, you can get 20 percent down on a house. Uh, which our own citizens don't get. What? Um, you could even have a what? sex change Wait operation. A second. Wait a second. Uh, Your Honor, are you on it? The, the state of California, using taxpayers' money, will give 20% down payments to illegal migrants to buy a home? Did I hear that right? <laughs> you did. And, you know, what they're going to tell you is, oh, it's, it's no big deal, because when they sell the house eventually, they're going to have to pay the state back. What? But, you know, the, the, oh. the question is... You know, my, my my kids are having trouble staying in California because of the cost of housing. They they can't come up with the okay. two three hundred thousand dollars down they need for a house. Unbelievable. And so it, and I think this is pretty ubiquitous. Your Honor, thanks very much for coming on the show and just enlightening me about this nonsense. That was priceless. Thanks for joining us. I know we'll see a lot of you again. Thank you very much.